Hey, thanks for watching this video. This video is a quick look about how to use a manometer in order to check a system when you're testing it, commissioning it to make sure that your blower speed is going up or down. It's a very practical way, kind of a comparative way to use a manometer. And along the way, I'm also gonna show you the new field piece job link manometer kit, the JL3KM2. These are single port manometers, which make them really easy to use. You can put them exactly where you're testing, but then you can still check them against each other just like you would with a dual manometer. It comes with all sorts of great stuff in the kit. It's got a nice easy bag. It's very much like their meter bag. It's got your ports, your adapters, your static pressure probes, hoses, everything all in one for testing gas pressure and static pressure. It works along with the Job Links app. It has really great range, about 350 feet worth of range. So you're gonna be able to use these uh, with your Job Links app or even with the Measure Quick app. So you've got a lot of options of how to use these, but I'm gonna talk to you very specifically about how to use them when you're testing a piece of equipment to make sure your blower is going up or down, which is important if you're testing heat, cooling modes, if you're changing stages and to make sure your blower is ramping up or down, or if you're going in or out or of dehumidification mode. I'm gonna show you this on a carrier and Infinity system, but some other really great applications would be things like a, a Nest thermostat or an Ecobee thermostat that you're setting up for dehumidification or for staging, and you want to make sure that that blower is staging along with your compression. So we're running in fifth stage, 1241 CFM, 0.54 static pressure total. The supply would be used with blue, and then P2 would be used in the return, so that would be red. Green slow blank means normal operation, red slow blank means batteries need to be replaced. And to zero out, you just press the button, and it will flash blue and then zero. This is a typical orientation for total external static pressure measurement, and this is showing how to use these adapters in order to measure with the larger boss on certain gas valves. This is the normal threaded configuration. So on a fan coil, in order to get total external static, we would measure before the evaporator coil because the coil is in the box of the air handler. And then we would measure on the supply and we'd see the differential. But in order to just see changes in airflow, we don't need to do that. We just need to look at one point, measure in the same point, get ourselves a baseline, and then see if that number goes up or down. If the number goes up, we know that our airflow is increased. If the number goes down, then we know that our airflow is decreased. So a situation like this would be a case where you have already done all of your system tests, you've already measured your total external static, but now you wanna just do a quick check of your pressure drop across your air filter, and then you're just gonna leave it in and do your up and down staging tests and make sure that your airflow does stage up and down. With this application, it's gonna be easy. We're just gonna put one above the filter and one below the filter. If you take a look here, this would normally be in the supply, so this would be the higher pressure side. This would normally be in the return, so this would be the lower pressure side, but we're really just looking for a differential. Orientation isn't as important in, these, in this uh, type of situation. Because we're really just going to be looking for differential more than we are looking for a, a super accurate measurement. So in this particular case, again, P1, P2 doesn't really matter as much because we're just gonna look at the differential. But, and again, this isn't perfectly sealed up, but let's take a look at what the Job Links app shows. So as you can see, we've got the lower negative pressure on the other side of the filter and the higher negative pressure closer to the blower. So again, the closer you get to the blower, the higher your pressures are gonna be. And in this particular case, we can see that the difference between these two, the delta P, the difference in pressure, gives it to you right here, is 0.17. So that is our filter pressure drop. But let's just pick one of these to focus on. So let's just look at our negative on top of our filter. So that's negative 0.29 at full speed. So now let's go ahead and ramp down to the next stage lower and see what happens to this measurement.
Now we're staged down to four. And see our total static has dropped. So as the blower RPM goes up, so will the total external static pressure that's seen across the blower. So we can check at any point and we can see that change in static pressure once we've developed a baseline to show whether our blower OPRAM is going up or down. All right, so this is in stage four. You can see we had a significant decrease in both our static that, our, uh, that we're seeing above the filter, before the filter, and our delta P, our pressure drop across the filter, have all decreased, even with that pretty slight decrease in airflow from stage five to stage four, which just shows us we can confirm that we're staging equipment up or down. Now, on something like an Infinity communicating system, the control does this for you, but if you were doing something with a thermostat that had some smart controls in it, but was still 24 volts, where it's staging up, staging down, going into heat mode, dehumidifying, that sort of thing, you could very easily use the field piece job link manometer in order to look at very fine changes. You can use one or both, but it's also valuable to see what our pressure drop is across our air filter, just to make sure that it's not too restrictive. You can see these are only slightly, slightly off. And so we're gonna go ahead and zero these out really simply. Because we have a measurement on them, we can zero them out and all we do is just hit the button. It will flash blue. Right, thanks for watching. As you can see, the field piece job link manometer is a really great tool for you to do lots of practical tests. A good quality manometer has so many important uses in the field, but specifically you can use these to easily test to make sure that your airflow is ramping up and down the way that it's supposed to. Hope you enjoyed. We'll catch you on the next one.